Hello. Today I'll be talking about movie review number 131. And this movie is going to be called A Reader Battle Angel. This is the 131st movie review I have done so far. A Reader Battle Angel. <coughs> I saw this movie on November 7th, 2020 at Cinema Oakley Station in SD in Oakley, Ohio. This is a 2019 film directed by Robert Rodriguez and produced by James Cameron. So this is about a robotic, half-human, half-robot, I'm gonna say, I think it's half-human, half-robot girl named Marita, who, <clears throat> in, the, in the 26th century, has to figure out her way of, of life after being made by her inventor. And this movie explores her past and what she must do in the future, and how being in this different world will bring her to a man that is like the enemy of hers named Nova. So this was very good. Really good. There are a lot of fight sequences and action in it. Of course it's PG thirteen, so yeah. But anyway this was good. Um, it definitely was better than what I thought it was going to be. It was really good. It has action, suspense, uh, emotional scenes in it as well. And I think it definitely kind of sets it up for a sequel. Because while I won't say... The Nova is the villain in this film. This he's maybe he could be like a <clears throat> secondary antagonist, but it's, he's not like the main main villain in the film. In other words, the movie sets us up with Noel Nova to be the primary antagonist in the next film, and yeah. So by the way. The character of Nova is played by Edward Norton. I read that online and when I saw the movie I thought, okay, that is Edward Norton. Anywho, <clears throat> so it also has many talented actors and actresses like Christoph Christoph Waltz, Jennifer Connery, Marsala Ali. I cannot pronounce that name, I do apologize. But he is like the villain in the film. So the people that are after Orita, including him. And you guys gotta check this out. This is really good. Um although I was surprised to see it didn't it didn't make as much money as I thought it would be, because I thought it was a good movie and people thought it was a good movie too. And people are demanding for a sequel. I want a sequel. I want to see what happens in the second film because it definitely sets it up for a sequel. Especially with the character Nova. And I just want to see what happens. Oh, here's a fun fact. This was the last 20th Century Fox movie to be distributed by 20th Century Fox because Future 20th Century Fox movies will be distributed by Walt Disney Pictures. And another thing about the 20th Century Fox World War the film, after, before the World War ends, it switches from 20th Century Fox to 26th Century Fox, hinting that this film takes place in the 26th century. And while it was at the back of the film where it was seen, James Cameron's White Storm Entertainment. And I think, while I didn't appear in the film, 
I do believe Robo will read this as a production company called Troublemaker Studios. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, this was really good. And I want a sequel. And fiends are demanding a sequel as well. Let's make let's see if we can have an Arena Battle Angel 2. But we'll see. But don't check this out guys if you haven't. This was one of many movies I wanted to see last year, but I didn't. So I thought, okay, since it's back in a few years, I'll go ahead and see it. And I believe one of the main reasons why this film came back into videos is to help with the sequel talks. Because it seems like they know how to do a sequel. They just want fans to, they, it, but they want to see how the fans will respond. So, hopefully we will do the sequel. But we'll see. Anyway, that's my movie review of Alita Battle Angel. Please stay tuned for the next movie review. Alright, goodbye.